Hey everybody, it's the Baron Samurai back here on the comic review. Today, taking a look at 80 Years of the Greatest Superhero by Public Domain Comic, uh, Greatest Superheroes by Public Domain Comics. This is the Black Hood number one. <coughs> it contains issues or excerpts from his adventures from Top Notch Comics number 10 through 11, or 9 through 11, sorry. Um, includes a brief history of the Black Hood. I believe you can find the Black Hoods radio show on YouTube. I will look in some point if you can go to Detective, because I think that's the only time the MLJ character went to pulp. Uh, like I said, it contains his adventures from Top Notch Comics issues 9 through 11. And uh, the first story is his origin story, where he meets the Hermit and gets framed by the Skull. Uh, the second story is his rematch with the Skull, because he had captured the Skull in the first story. But the Skull escapes, but I think this is unique because I don't think many Golden Age heroes had an arch nemesis and actually faced them three consecutive times. Um, uh, when the Skull escapes, uh, the Hermit was actually a sheriff framed by the Skull originally, though he must, the Skull must be pretty old, but he doesn't act like it, so maybe the Skull's immortal. It never really tells us what his age is or powers. Um, but, you know, the sheriff had vowed to make himself this ultimate scientist and learn everything he could to stop Skull, but the thing is, he took so long, he aged. So he ended up passing everything he learns to Kip, who was also framed by Skull, and he becomes the Black Hood. So in a way, he's kind of the Master Splinter or Stick or Alfred to Black Hood, if you will. Although later they do know... The, Someone just actually referred to him as Kip, so at some point he doesn't want to the police anymore. Okay, the second Black Hood mystery actually involves um, an inventor being off, but before he was killed, he had his wife memorize everything that he wanted to take to the government. And the, the Skull is trying to kidnap her and pays everyone to pretend that she, the gal who was traveling with her, who was the Black Hood's love interest, didn't realize everything that's going on. And in the last story, uh, the Skull returns again, and he has developed a gas that shrinks people down to children. I kept wondering if the person who created Case Closed had read that story, because it's too much a coincidence. Though, to be fair, they did something similar in Dial H for Hero, but it was actually a hero character that could turn people into kids. Um, yeah, all three stories are really good. I th like I said, I think it's unique. I don't really think of a lot of Golden Age characters who get to fight the same enemy three different times. Yeah, and the consecutive issues, mind you. I enjoyed it. I give it a 5 out of 5. You can find it. I've been picking up 80 Years of Superheroes. Well, issue 1, The Black Hood. Let me know who your favorite ML MLJ hero is in the comments below. And until next time. <clears throat>the next time, it's American Samurai saying, sometimes the good guys wear black. Later.